Now we have some breaking news coming in within the story as we were following uh, NIA rates on the Guru Patwan Singh's properties in Chandigarh and Amritsar. What we have now is that the NIA crackdown continues wherein they are confiscating more and more properties of uh, Khalistani offenders uh, in this particular case and NIA has prepared a list of 19 fugitives. They are based across uh, several countries uh, which include the United States, UK, Australia, Canada, Pakistan and Dubai. Now these Fugitives allegedly have been involved in smuggling, terror funding, terror conspiracy against India. And what we are also learning is that they have been seeking help from the ISI. This is the important information that we have received. Remember, only yesterday we had been constantly tracking the NIA crackdown on uh, uh, Pannu's properties as well as Nijjar's properties in India. And right now we have Arunima joining us on the broadcast to bring us more details on this particular breaking input that we are bringing to you. Arunima, very good morning to you. Well, if we are to get into the depths of what exactly we are learning here, uh, there is an ISI angle that has also emerged uh, wherein we, are say we have received information that these uh, offenders, these 19 uh, fugitive lists that we have, they were seeking help from the ISI as well. What more are we learning? So this is no secret that Pakistan ISI is constantly supporting the Khalistani cause. They have a double K desk, the Khalistan Kashmir desk. So when Kashmir, after uh, you know Article 370 abrogation, quietened down, they upped the ante, pressed the accelerator on Khalistan, and that's why suddenly uh, you see in in the diaspora in Australia, in UK, Germany, uh, Canada, rest of Europe, and in pockets of USA as well. Suddenly, Khalistani sympathizers are, uh, you know, making their presence felt on social media, daring to carry out protests in consulates and high commission. Um, so, India has also decided uh, to crack down. Uh, we just reported how Gurpatwan Singh Panoon will now have to let go of his ancestral land in Amritsar, of his, uh, you know, residential property in Chandigarh. But he may not be alone. There are 19 others. Some of those names are well-known names uh, related to the Khalistan ecosystem. For example, Paramjit Singh Pamma, who is believed to be in UK, uh, Wadwa Singh Babba, who is believed to be in Pakistan, Ranjit Singh Nita, again believed to be in Lahore, Pakistan, Piers Dhaniwal, believed to be in United States. So these are all uh, ideologues who have been leading the Khalistani cause. And uh, their, their well-wishers, their ancestral land, their ancestral property, their family properties are still here in Punjab, Haryana, uh, because most of them have migrated from here. So to, in order to make them accountable, because they are enjoying protection of their adopted uh, country, it could be UK, it could be Canada, it could be US, and it is taking time uh, for them to be extradited and brought here. In the interim, government is cracking down, moving court under the relevant section of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, there is a section 33.5 under which proclaimed offenders, their properties can be seized by the state. So that is the section being used by NIA to impress upon the court that all of these are proclaimed offenders. They must be held accountable. Then the NIA is hoping that the court, like Gurpatan Singh Panoon in these cases also, will give a favorable order post which confiscation of properties could begin. Right, Arunima. Arunima, also, if we are to speak of the countries, the list of countries that have also come out, the information being sent to these countries regarding uh, the, uh, these 19 offenders whose list has been made, where are we in terms of action being taken against such uh, Khalistani offenders in these respective countries? So all these countries, you know, some of them are cooperating uh, on, on, on informal basis. Some like Canada, we've had a complete breakdown of trust uh, as far as uh, diplomatic uh, negotiation between India and Canada is concerned. We are aware of that. Uh, Pakistan, there's no point talking. We know that, you know, some of these, uh, like, uh, like I told you, Ranjit Singh Nita, uh, believed to be in Lahore, Pakistan. And uh, in, even in cases, Pakistan has deliberately tried to mislead the international community. That's what Indian agencies believe. For example, in Rinda's case, uh, there was a rumor floated that he died of drug overdose. Indian agencies believe that was just a rumor so that he could escape on a Swosh passport. So we know there's no point talking to Pakistan. They actively help these countries. The other countries, uh, US, UK, Germany, Australia, I think India is apprising them of the threat of the danger from Khalistan and how India's own territorial integrity could be threatened by these kinds of comments. Um, so far, we have not heard anything to suggest that these countries are not appreciating India's concern. Right, Arunima. Arunima, do stay with us because we na right now have some more breaking information coming in within the story itself, uh, wherein India continues to take steps against uh, Khalistani offenders and this is an input that we are getting, wherein uh, CNN News 18 has accessed the list of Khalistani radicals on the NIA's radar.
and uh, here we have the names Paramjit Singh uh, Pamma, Wadwa Singh Babbar who is from Pakistan, uh, Paramjit Singh Pamma is from UK and Kulwant Singh Muthada is from UK again, J.S. Dhaliwal from the US, Sukpal Singh UK and these are the names that CNN News 18 has been able to access and we will go back to Arunima for more details on this. Uh, Arunima, if you could bring us some more details on these names that we have accessed cur uh, currently uh, when it comes to this particular story. So these are people who have long been on NIA radar. It's not, and before NIA also, Punjab police has booked them for cases of murder. These are all people who have migrated over the last two or three decades out of Punjab uh, and either fled to Pakistan because they were charged with terror conspiracy, they were charged with uh, murder, or from Pakistan they fled onward. Some of them are in UK, others are in uh, Canada. Uh, you know, Dhaliwal is believed to be in US. Some are in other parts of Europe as well. Um, the one particular uh, alleged smuggler is believed to be operating from uh, Dubai. I uh, just meet saying Hakim Zada. Uh, so they are spread all over, and they have the support of uh, ISI. And this is not an exhaustive list. It's a work in progress. Currently, we have uh, got to know that NIA is moving seriously against these 19, but the list could grow further. Uh, you saw how, how after the Indian High Commission attack, after the uh, consulate attack in United States, more names have been identified. A list of 43 has been drawn. The pictures have gone into the public domain asking people to give information about their properties in India. So this list could grow. It is very clear that India has decided to crack down against these Khalistanis and not just sit quietly after apprising their adopted countries about what these people are doing. Make them pay uh, is, is India's, uh, you know, uh, what India has decided right now. Uh, if they lose financially, if their well-wishers and family members back in India are made to pay for, for their, uh, you know, wrongdoing, perhaps uh, there will be more pressure on them to stop advocating anti-India lines. Right, Arunima. Arunima, do stay with us. Right now, we will take uh, our viewers through the list of names, as I was just mentioning before this. Uh, these are the other separatists uh, on whom, uh, who are under the NIA's radar currently. Uh, this includes Paramjit Singh Pamma, who is based in the United Kingdom. And next, we have uh, Wadwa Singh Babbar, who is based in Pakistan. As we were mentioning, there are several countries across which their nexus exists. And then we have Kulwant Singh uh, Muthuda, who is based again in the United Kingdom. So there, those are two names that we have seen from the United Kingdom. J.S. Dhaliwal, based in United States. Again, two names from the United States as well. And then we have Sukpal Singh, based in Britain. So uh, right now, Arunima, coming back to you, what we are also learning is that the government is moving to cancel the OCI cards of Khalistani sympathizers. If we could bring in some more information on this to our viewers. So just, just to give you an understanding as to how an OCI, an overseas citizenship of India card helps. A lot of uh, Indian diaspora has moved to adopt passports of their, of their new countries. They have given up their Indian passports and taken up uh, citizenship of other countries, Canada, US, Australia, Germany, UK. Uh, OCI card is supposed to help them come back to their home country without the need for an e-visa or a visa. And this facility, it seems, is being misused by Khalistani sympathizers. They are continuing to spread hatred against India in their adoptive country. At the same time, use the OCI card to come to India, carry on with their uh, you know daily work, meet their family members, and then go back and spread hate again. So why should they be given a platform here in India uh, for their anti-India activities? That's the thought process and that's why in a continued crackdown against Khalistanis, some of these people who have been identified by the government, the agencies are working, the intelligence agencies have dossiers ready on a lot of these Khalistani sympathizers. Uh, some have been named by NIA and SFIR, others have been named by the Punjab police and its probe. Delhi police special cell also has a few FIRs uh, in, in various cases of crimes committed by alleged Khalistanis. So all of that will be put together, the names scrutinized and seen how many of them are OCI holders and uh, the process will, uh, will then be set in motion so that they cannot misuse this facility that was given uh, to Indian diaspora to connect with their home country. This was not the reason why OCI card was given and they will not be uh, allowed to misuse this platform is the clear message from government of India. Right, Arunima. Arunima, thank you for bringing us all those details.